Hey everybody, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian. This is Melody, she's our licensed veterinary technician. Today we're gonna show you guys how we draw blood at the veterinary hospital. Now there's a couple different ways we can do it. We can draw from the jugular, the cephalic, or the saphness in the back leg. One of the major reasons why we're gonna draw from the jugular would be to get a big blood sample. So let's say your doggy's really sick and we need to get a CBC, a chemistry, a thyroid, who knows what else, maybe a cortisol too. The licensed technician here will draw from the jugular. And this is our patient right here, <laughs> young Maverick. And we're gonna get a blood sample. As promised, guys, we're gonna do a jugular poke. And then right down here, we're gonna have the jugular. One over here, of course, one over here. And what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna apply gentle pressure to either side. And some people do both, but gentle pressure. And that's gonna allow the blood to pull up here. And then we can poke and get a blood sample. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and take um, some sort of alcohol. You can do it on a gauze or you can spray the neck down a little bit. This makes it a little bit gentler and less fearful for them. If we just put it on a square gauze and wipe it down. And then we're going to go ahead and include that vein on the neck and palpate for it. And we're going to take our needle and make sure we have our bevel up. We're going to go into the vein and draw back the blood that we're needing. Once you get your blood sample, guys, you're going to go ahead and do a purple top, maybe a green or a tiger top. But the purple top, remember, you need to get that blood in there right away because if it clots, that purple top is no good. Also, that purple top, you need to be rotating it to make sure that you don't have any, you know, abnormal platelets or CBC counts when you're all done. But keep in mind, you also want to be gentle when rocking it. You don't want to take your uh, tube and shake it up aggressively because that can actually damage your sample. Like any any blood draw, when you get your blood drawn, any, any animal, any person, gentle pressure being held after a blood draw will prevent bruising and any bleeding from that site. Moira. 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 <laughs> hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. We got Mary and Melody here. They are licensed veterinary technicians. We have, oh, what's your name again? <laughs> are you say, say it, say it for me. Moira. Moira. He's a rescue puppy from Muddy Paws Rescue. And we're going to walk you through 